Here, what's going on everybody? We are back with day two of 30 days of prep and I'm hyped. We took our double rest day today. I filmed Saturday, not Sunday. And we get to hit a workout today. It was really hard taking two workouts. And we got Troublemaker somewhere over here. Where are you? I hear you. I hear you. I hear you out here causing havoc. Causing that, that, that drama. That drama, drama, drama. We're gonna head back to the crib. We got check-ins today. Gonna bang those out. Uh, shout out to all my clients kicking ass. I don't know, I really wanna hit chest. Although my chest is like fake sore, so maybe we'll hit back today. I don't know, but I'm so excited to be able to fucking get like a solid lift in. I'm hoping the double rest day will be fucking money moves. And I got a cycle update once we get back to the crib. We got some food cooking. We're about to get ready to start some clients, but I have a bit of a cycle update for you guys for you guys unaware what you run changes depending on where you're at and so this is the beginning of week eight and eleven we are switching over to now we'll just be on test trend and mass been running clan for the past week and uh no more tests in primo so you should see over these next probably like two weeks our body completely transform uh now is when all the, all the fun stuff gets added in. I'm really hoping it gives me more energy. I've been down in the dumps when it comes to energy. But we're going to go ahead and uh, pin and then uh, get to work on these clients knocking them out. Also, do not take my transparency as me trying to tell you guys to go hop on. This is my life. I am a grown man. I'm 24 years old. I'm going to do with it what I want. Same way if you're grown, do whatever you want with your life. But... I just think it's very important that I'm transparent with you guys, that way you guys know, you know, if you're if you're going the natty route, like what's what's actually attainable. I'm not trying to sell you guys a fake dream, you know what I'm saying? But we're gonna I gotta find my shit and then uh yeah, we're gonna just maybe uh nah I won't film it. Shout out shout out to Wifey for this method. But we need to cook up our protein. This is literally our first meal and this is what we're eating. Kinda wild, but Bruh uh, no Dude, fuck you, Kroger. Look at this shit. Can you guys see this? This bitch is fucking leaking. That thing bleeding to the... You know what I mean? Walkie slash. That thing bleeding, P. Bro? <laughs> what kind of dumbass shit is that? Who made that package? Alright, let's try this again. Oh, this is fucking disgusting. This is garbage. Yeah, gotta dry this shrimp off. One, so our seasoning sticks better, and two, so that it doesn't smell like your ex-girlfriend. That was mean. I shouldn't have said that. That was toxic. Uh, shout out to homie cooking for games. Some of his seasoning. Do that up heavy. still for a long period of time but for the most part we got check-ins knocked out i mean some people are obviously on different schedule so we're still waiting i'm still accepting clients right now if you're lazy though don't even bother every client that i have so far has been busting their ass and it's because i've been a lot stricter in who i accept so if you guys want to you know get coached i may be opening up prep spots but it'd be for free because I, I need to experiment in it that that that'd be very selective right so right now we just do lifestyle. I can get you shredded. I can help you put on size. I've got clients that have been helped bulk, clients that have gotten lean, whether it's just fat loss or, the, or they're trying to get shredded for summer, whatever. But when it comes to prepping, it's a little bit different. And when I get to that point where I'm ready to take it on, I'd probably select a couple people and do it for free. With the understanding that I'm coaching you for free, you're kind of my experiment. Because that's a lot. 
that's a lot of weight on, on someone's shoulders, right? If I fuck up someone's like peak, like I ruined all their hard work. So there's a lot, there's a lot that goes into that, you know. I see a lot of people pick up and they start prepping people, and it's like, damn, bro, like that, that's a big risk. Getting someone lean, you know, it's totally different. World. Getting someone shredded for stage, oof. But we're gonna go to the gym. Um, I might eat something like out the door. Ah, uh, I just got so much energy for fucking accomplishing that, like knocking that shit out, even though like it'll go on for the rest of the day. But ah, we gotta pick our our poison. What Prurik are we wanna take? Also, we got Calvin here. So before you guys are like, oh, evil gent. Kelvin sponsored by Evil Gem, so we, we don't care about none of that, man. We need some of that. I might run a protein shake and some bread, maybe. Oh, I'm like all out of bread, too. Fuck. The Dave's Killer Bread is like the perfect, like, on the go fucking pre. Let's go here. Little, little, little double time. Little, little double act right man huge shout out to everyone that's been rocking with coach j on rise saving that money and supporting your boy i got a question in the last video asking on how i afford all these cars one between the forerunner and the corvette those are two cash cars They're like 14 grand oh uh, and the hellcat i didn't put any money down so we just cash flow the monthly payment but the reason why I'm able to afford these things is because you guys, you guys support me, whether it's buying my brand, which I'm rocking right now, using my code for different websites or different companies, I should say. So whether it's Rise, Young LA, Gila Mix, Lou Hofino, I get commission off all that. And then all my coaching clients, obviously that's another stream of income. So you guys watching, sharing, like interacting, supporting in that way, all right? If you guys are gonna buy it anyways, support your favorite creator. Obviously, I prefer it's me, but it might not be me. Because it goes a long fucking way, right? There's no J-Lane without y'all. That will never, ever get old, bruh. This shit's crazy, bruh. Dude. I don't even get I have fucking cut up my tongue now. And then the roof of my mouth, bro. This shit is like painful, but we got that act right. We sipping. Finna get fucking turnt. It's a little strong, I'm not gonna cap. Whoever's dumbass decided to spit gum right outside of their car. I hope you have a terrible day. Terrible day. Two way in, the night still young. You live by the gun, you gon' die by the gun. Ain't no handouts for nobody. When they ain't have shit, they ain't offer me nothing. When I'm quiet, I be thinking about killings. A lot of nigga bitch may stay in they feelings. Saving these hoes, this shit here pitiful. All these little bit of bitch in my chillings. Ooh. And mama, don't worry, you raised a gangster. I'm a survivor. It hurt me not being able to give what you want since I was a toddler. Shout out to my pops for all the free game. Everything you ever told me, it's stuck in my brain. Real OG status and like to make a change. Shed tears rain, this and so much pain. All the shit, the shit that I've done, blessing not being no change. Uncle killed me when I was young, mom blessed the boy with the cocaine Growing up, I ain't have no daddy, my mama played both roles Been hard on a nigga since I came out the womb, yeah the pussy hole I was taught to trust none, face your problem, never run Little bitch, holler, she pregnant, you a little net net, that ain't my son Tryna trap me, know I had a glove, fuck them feelings, slack, I'm a thug You a little dusty hoe, yeah the rug, ayy, and it's still fuck love 2 a.m., the night still young. You live by the gun, you gon' die by the gun. Ain't no handouts for nobody. When they ain't have shit, they ain't offer me nothing. When I'm quiet, I be thinking about killings. A lot of nigga bitch may stay in they feelings. Saving these hoes, this shit here pitiful. All these little bit of bitch in my chillings. So we're just sitting here waiting for Chase to pull up. I gotta pick up Duke. But she's gonna hand over Duke. And we're just listening to some Rob Deerdeck. This shit has been game changing, but. We gotta grab little man.
Duke? I think he gets scared on car rides and he just falls asleep in my lap. Hmm. Come on, buddy. Short Got me and my little man. That I can you ready to go on? Pressure off the edge to get huh? Back Cutie. And, and that to me is Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My young slime. He gonna be. He gonna be a mean machine. Just gotta give him swole. About to give him them super subs. You know what I'm saying? You want some diet water, bro? Give us some diet water. So far, so good. He did shit and piss on there, but we're solid. We got the Hellcat up front, so we never do this. I always park in the garage, but with the vet in there, it's a super tight fit. And I was literally just thinking, like, this dude has never seen stairs before in his life. Like, he's lit. Excuse me. He's literally in a whole new world. He's never been outside. I mean, he's been a little bit outside of Chase's apartment, but he just is getting his second round of shots today, so can't really go outside or anything. Ain't that right, little dude? Oh, that's, I think, here, son. Oh, so we knocked out some website stuff for the drop coming up this Friday, May 19th. I said March the 19th. Of May, so this week that you guys are watching this video. To be honest, dude, adding the puppy. You guys know I got Chase a dog that was for a one year anniversary. I kind of regret it. It's added a lot of stress of like responsibility of the dog and stuff. We're technically not supposed to have a dog here and stuff, so Chase has been taking care of it, adding lots of stress in the relationship. On top of other stresses, which is what I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about, is the fucking the weight of gold. Uh, I was listening to a Rob Dyrdek podcast and they were talking about is it's one thing to find success it's another thing to maintain success and I think that's something that I struggle with a lot especially mentally is the fear of losing the success that I've gotten you know when you're on social media views tank algorithm changes you get shadow banned they don't want to push your stuff and you feel like fucking hopeless and like I know it's a volume game, but I've grinded the past two and a half months with like YouTube of uploading really, really high quality videos that I all thought were like super entertaining and did not really get the push that I expected them to get. Um, and that's tough. And just like my expenses are a lot higher between rent. Obviously, I got a new car and, and obviously this is like self-inflicted damage, but like I go through phases and a lot of it's based on my cash flow and stuff, but like where I'll be really confident and insecure and then I'm right back down the dumps like fuck. Like, I I shouldn't have done that. Like when I bought the scat, right, this is my old low car, right? We have the Hellcat now. So when I bought the scat, I was like, fuck. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Like maybe this was a bad idea. And like really regretted it. When I bought the Hellcat, I was very confident. And then like, now I'm like, fuck. Maybe I shouldn't have bought the Hellcat. I don't know, I go back and forth. It's something that I struggle with a lot. Like, obviously, growing up, I didn't come from anything, so I didn't have someone to teach me anything about being successful. And then, so, like, now being successful, maintaining it, I feel like I have, like, the weight of the world on my shoulders. And, like, a lot of the people in the house depend on me um, in, in some way or another, whether it's, like, I take care of, like, I've managed all the fucking rent, all that stuff. And, like, Carice, if you guys didn't know, if you guys apply for coaching, he handles my emails. Uh, it's a good way to help him on top of him doing his football training if you guys are local or even he does online coaching now for any of my athletes out there you guys want to tap in with him it's just like a lot of stuff like that or like okay I gotta upkeep the hot doing this and I'm always like trying to do stuff for other people put other people on and like there's times where I'm like damn like maybe I'm putting too much emphasis on other people and not enough on myself and like maybe that's what I need to to go to that next level, right? So we've leveled up every year since moving to Texas. Like, we've leveled up. Like, our physique has gone up. Our mental has gone up. Our knowledge has gone up. Our finances have gone up. And it's like that pressure. Like, fuck. Okay, how do I how do I maintain this? And now, like, I have a girlfriend that I see a future with. It's like, okay, how do I maintain this for, for her? Hello? Okay, I have no idea where we were. That was uh, actually... The many or the manufacturer of these shirts, so just had a slight issue with the last order, but yeah, I don't, I don't know, I really don't remember where I was in that ramp. But basically, just like handling the pressure, of like maintaining, especially it when like I've been doing this three years now, two and a half, 
been doing it full time for about two and a half years and like I don't know I don't feel like I've made the progress that I should have especially I know compared to Steve and Julie you look around and you're like damn like this person popped off this person popped off it's like fuck what am I doing wrong and I've tried different things it's like fuck did I not try it long enough like I don't know people always like I get people coming up to me a lot like yo I appreciate you you're so raw and real and sometimes I'm like fuck I was like, is that holding me back from scaling, right? You look at like some of the people that have scaled and like, maybe they seem super genuine to you, but like, if you get to know the other side, they're maybe not, they put on a bit of a front or like, you know, they bend the truth a little or like, they have like this act or like this facade online and it helps them scale a shit ton. But like, I don't, sometimes I've been like, fuck, maybe I need to go for, for something like that. I don't know. It's, it's something I've battled in my head and I was like, we're doing this challenge, so I'm going to be very, like, open and, and vulnerable with you guys. As you guys know that I'm human, too. We have our struggles. We have our mental issues and stuff like that. Now, I've been, I've been listening to a lot of build with Rob, Rob Deerdeck, trying to, like, lock in on my mental. Because, like, I've lately just been in a mood where I just want to be alone. I don't really want to be. And, obviously, like, I'm trying to go to Chase's and, and, and help her and stuff, like, with the dog. Because Duke's a pain in the ass. But I realistically, like just want to sit up here edit my videos whatever being boom and, and not really just just stay down low so i don't know but we're gonna eat another meal and then we're gonna go do our cardio we're gonna go back to ar we're gonna meet up with pat first ever rise of, or jesus christ first ever chase your dreams affiliate and then uh micah also ordered if you guys order and you're local hit me up and we can meet at like ar and i'll bring you your package so you can get it super fast. So once again, we are back. Damn, that's how close. We are back at AR. We got the first ever Chase Dreams affiliate. That boy Pat rocking the pants. Hey man, nice pants, bro. Appreciate it. You know, <laughs> just dream chasing out here. Let's get it, big dog. All right, just chilling. So got got the hats. That was obviously this right here is I believe this is the large. Now this is the XL. If you want to try it on and see. Yeah. The outfits. But I don't know if I said this earlier. God damn, man. I don't know if I said this earlier, but man, what the fuck going on, bro? I don't know if I said this earlier, but the feeling. Oh, it's fucking David getting chirped at, of course. Um, I'm taking them out of people that are active in the Discord. So I'm really just trying to build a community with the brand. So I'm rewarding those who are most active in the community, in a sense. So if you guys want to earn your way to affiliate, then uh, tap in. Tap into the Discord. We have finished cardio in this low key. Anytime I go late in the day, it's like my guilty pleasure because I get like a zero calorie drink after. I also have this peach unsweet mango tea. I don't know, zero calories, we're gonna try it. I gotta set y'all down though. Not, not professional at all, but. Oh, all right, unsweet pink, peach, Jesus Christ. You can tell I'm exhausted. Unsweet peach mango. It tastes like shit. That tastes like shit. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like, it tastes like shit when I take a big ass gulp. I'm fucking thirsty. Ah, not the move. I wonder if I can mix this with something else and make it better, but that ain't it. Good thing we got the backup, we got the Powerade, man. Oh, fuck. We went to the grocery store again. I want you guys to comment down below how many times you think this prep in this like series you guys have seen me go to the grocery store. Because in the last video I went to the grocery store, that was Saturday. I didn't film yesterday, but I did go to the grocery store. Today's Monday, and we went to the grocery store again, but I picked up some ground chicken I'm going to attempt to make like a little chicken sandwich. I've been super busy today and so far we've only ate like 100 grams of carbs. So we still have a good amount of food left. So I'm going to see what we can do, what we can finesse up. So we schemed up, threw about two ounces of avocado on there. So 10 grams of fat, I think, I don't know. Damn, these are like Here it goes. Here goes nothing. Just 
Still haven't gotten a lot of chicken yet. This should be it. Mm-hmm. This shit busting. Busting. Your boy might be picking up some more ground turkey. That shit is gas. Ground chicken. chicken. That patty. Oh! Don't judge me. Boys are definitely in their draws right now. Finishing up some client work. And then we're going to edit this video here because we need to have this posted tomorrow at 9 a.m. So far, the first video, I'm not going to lie, did terrible, but that's okay. That's fine. It's more so a personal goal to see where we can be at. And also, it's more of like a, a streak thing, really. I just want to have the discipline, the depth of discipline to do this every single day. So we got episode two. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. The drop is coming. I know the last video I said fucking March. It's May. You know, we're on prep. Give me give me a fucking break. But I appreciate you guys, especially anyone that's here in this this part of the video right now. It means the fucking world. I appreciate you. As always, it's been real. It's been trill. It's your boy Jay Lane. You already finished that. <laughs>